Croup is a viral illness caused by the parainfluenza virus. Typically, other viruses can cause it, such as RSV, but it is typically just a viral illness. And um, parainfluenza virus is the number one culprit for croup. Croup has a very distinctive cough that is very barky and that sounds like a seal. Um, children that get more uh, severe croup can get a um, strider, which is an inspiratory wheezing sound, um, but typically the barky cough is the giveaway that your child has croup. You know, 95% of all croup is viral. Um, there's a very small amount that's bacterial, but it's usually always viral, and so antibiotics do not work for croup. The symptoms of croup are a barky cough, the strider. Sometimes the child will get a fever, but not always. Um, typically, it's just a, if they get a fever, it's a low-grade fever. The symptoms of croup typically last three to four days, but can last up to a week. Now, typically, the barky cough and all that will go away within three or four days, but they can have a nagging cough that lasts a couple weeks. Children who have croup typically will have mild respiratory symptoms for just prior to developing croup. So they may have a runny nose or a low grade fever and then all of a sudden in the middle of the night they develop this barky cough which typically comes between 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. in the morning. The children most at risk for croup are children ages zero to six years old once the airway gets larger, they're not at risk anymore because it causes inflammation of the larynx and trachea. Treating croup at home, uh, we typically treat the symptoms. So Tylenol, um, ibuprofen is good for treating this. There is some discussion, you know, for years we recommended cool mist vaporizer um, it does not hurt, but there's no evidence that it actually helps. But as a parent, I still do cool mist vaporizer when my child has croup. Parents should seek medical attention for croup when their child seems short of breath, particularly when they notice the strider. Um, children can have this high-pitched wheezing sound when they have deep inspiration, or if they start noticing that they have cyanosis or blue looking lips or their fingertips are starting to turn blue, they should definitely seek medical attention. At that time, we can use um, oral steroids to control the symptoms and decrease the inflammation caused by the croup. Cough in children is difficult because there's so few things on the market to treat coughs for kids. There are some over-the-counter cough syrups that are available um, for children five and older, um, but we don't typically recommend lozenges because of the choking hazard. Croup does not always have to be treated by a medical professional. It's when they seem to have shortness of breath, strider, um, start seeming more ill appearing is when I would get them in. Any signs of shortness of breath, I would get a child in to see a provider as soon as possible. The best way to avoid croup is if you know another child has croup to keep your own child away from them and of course good hand washing, um, minimizing the exposure, uh, don't share utensils, don't share drinks, um, you know, the best you can. But there's a season when they all share these little germs and just can't seem to get around it.